Welcome to Byte Further. Today's video will show you what to do when your iPhone 10 says support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore. You're updating to the latest version of iOS 15 or later or just restoring the phone and suddenly, your iPhone 10 is stuck on support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore. All you see is a black screen showing a support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore message at the top along with a USB cable pointing to computer icon. It gets stuck on the restore screen and won't turn on at all. You tried pressing the power button to turn it off. However, it still just starts looping the support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore screen. So what does the restore screen mean and why does your iPhone 10 say support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore? Okay, first, the support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore on your iPhone 10 is called the recovery mode screen, which is also called restore screen. It can be used to update or restore your iPhone 10 using iTunes or Finder when it's stuck and unresponsive, or becomes glitchy and refresh the system. Next, if your iPhone 10 shows support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore on screen, there are several reasons behind this. One is that the update firmware file is broken so that your iPhone 10 gets stuck in recovery mode and won't turn on. It's also possible that you're restoring iPhone 10, but the process is corrupted due to unknown errors. Finally, you see stuck iPhone 10 support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore screen and it prompts you to connect to a computer to exit the recovery mode. A rare case is that there is a hardware problem on your iPhone 10 rendering it to be stuck on the restore screen. Whatever the reason is, we'll show you how to fix support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore iPhone 10. There are ways to fix the iPhone 10 recovery mode issue without losing any of your data. Now, let's start. Okay, when you're seeing support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore on iPhone 10, the first thing you should do is to force restart it to turn on. You just need to press some buttons to force your iPhone 10 to get out of the recovery mode and turn back on successfully. It's easy to do. Press then release the volume up button. Press then release the volume down button. Next, press the side button and keep holding the button until you see an Apple logo showing on the screen. You can try this method a few times if you can't do it right at once. Now, let's start. Press the volume up button, volume down button, and then keep holding the side button. The support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore message will disappear and the screen will turn black. And now, the Apple logo shows up. Release the side button and let it boot up. If you're in luck, you'll finally get your iPhone 10 out of the support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore screen and go back to the home screen. If it fails, and your iPhone 10 still says support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore, move to the next solution. The second way is to get iPhone 10 out of restore screen with computer using iTunes or Finder. Most users complain that iPhone 10 starts showing support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore when updating or restoring the device. It can be due to the process being corrupted. You can use iTunes or Finder to get past the support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore messages and update or restore the phone again. We'll show you how to exit recovery mode by updating iPhone 10 first. Open your computer. It's okay whether you're using a laptop or a desktop computer. Then, open iTunes. If you're using a Mac computer running Mac OS Catalina 10.15 or higher OS version, you'll need to launch Finder. Next, use a USB cable to connect your iPhone 10 to iTunes or Finder. It'll quickly detect your iPhone 10 that's in recovery mode and pops up a dialog box. It says that there's a problem with your iPhone 10 and ask if you'd like to update or restore it. Choose update to upgrade your iPhone 10 to the most recent version of iOS. Don't worry, as this won't delete anything on your phone. Then, iTunes or Finder will download the latest iOS software and install it into your iPhone 10 to fix the stuck support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore screen. Your iPhone 10 will then get past the support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore screen and start updating. The whole process may take 3 to 4 hours to finish, so please wait patiently. After the update, your iPhone 10 will reboot and then get back to normal again. If your iPhone 10 goes back to a black screen saying support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore message again, your final way to exit recovery mode is to bring your device back to the factory settings. 
Doing this means you'll delete everything on the phone like your contacts, photos, messages, and more, then use the phone from scratch. If you have a backup of the content before your iPhone 10 gets stuck on the support.apple.com slash iPhone slash restore screen, you can easily get back the data from the backup after the reset. Now, connect your iPhone 10 that's stuck in recovery mode and not turning on to iTunes or Finder. From the pop-up window, choose Restore. Finish the following step and bring your iPhone 10 back to its original status. After the reset, your iPhone 10 should exit the recovery mode and turn it back on. That's all how to fix iPhone 10 showing support.apple.com slash iPhone slash Restore. Hope this video can help your device exit the recovery mode screen and turn it back on again. If it does, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.